Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you with a special guest on the channel today. I have my lovely girlfriend, Natty. Hi. And uh, she's never on the channel, so mm -hmm. for one, one thing I gotta say is I'm very happy <laughs> you're on the video today. And today's video, we're going to taste test. Do you know what we're taste testing today? I saw some Kit Kat stuff, <laughs> that's all I know. Kit Kat stuff. So we're taste testing a bunch of weird Japanese Kit Kat flavors. If you guys want to see how my trip to Japan went, I am a daily vlogger as well. So leave that Japan vlog playlist linked down below. We had an amazing time and I'll be going back next month. So uh, if you want to see how that trip goes, make sure you subscribe. Do you like Kit Kat? Like for one, what kind of Kit Kats do you like? I love Kit Kat. Um, I've only had the basic ones. The basic? Really. Are, you, are you basic? Is that, um, is that way? Oh, simple, simple, simple. Simple. Is Just simple. Let's get into the Kit Kat taste testing. Very first Kit Kat flavor we're going to choose is gonna be this one here, the Kit Kat Aww. Strawberry. It's Take so a look cute, at it. it's pink. <laughs> Have you ever had any other Kit Kat flavors besides the regular like milk chocolate before? No, I don't think so. So this should be fine. There's no smell to it. I don't know why I'm smelling it. Why are you turning it? Okay, take it. It's like a cute little package. They come in these packages. Oh, because I think of, what? this means strawberry in Japanese. That would make sense. Ichigo. These come in packets of two, and uh, they're sort of like those Halloween size ones you get when you go trick or treating. Here is the packaging for the strawberry Kit Kat. Looks really cute. Let's try these. Oh, it smells good. You, like, you smell it now, right? Ooh, hoo -hoo. It smells really strong. Like, it smells like a strawberry cake almost. It reminds me of the um, strawberry ice cream. Oh, you're right. Dang, right? Yeah, let's uh, break it. Uh, break it, and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It tasted exactly like how I was expecting it to taste like, so uh, no surprises there. Would I go out of my way and buy this? Probably not. I like regular Kit Kat more. It tastes good, but the flavor is kind of strong. I prefer the chocolate, but you know, it's, it's cute. Nice. It's cute. <laughs> and I want to take a cute picture. It has a nice aesthetic. This one is called Hokkaido Melon. Hokkaido Melon. It looks like cantaloupe. This legit looks like a cantaloupe. Uh, Kit Kat, and I actually was bullied growing up. I didn't know. I don't know if you know this, but people used to call me cantaloupe in elementary school. Yeah. Bro, I called you cantaloupe way early on. <laughs> it's a rough relationship. Looks pretty cool. Let's open this up and uh, see how this bad boy. I'm struggling here. You got it. I got it. No, I got. I got this. I got this. Oh wow! So Ooh. it's not actually green. Yeah. The Kit Kat is actually yellow. It's a yellow Kit Kat. All right, so. Split it. Here you go. Let's smell it first. Smell Kinda it first. Soft. Do the, the science waft test. That smells good. That smells it like actually does. that smells like the lip balm I have. It reminds me of um, a candle I used to have. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. It honestly doesn't feel like we're having chocolate. To me, this this isn't like chocolate. This it's is like a uh, flavored candy. Yeah, flavored candy. This is there's like no hint of cocoa, chocolate bean, whatever you want to call it. Maybe white chocolate in there. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, it's, like it's a creamier, it's a creamier, uh, lighter taste for this one. Mm -hmm. How does this one compare to the uh, the strawberry one you just had? You like this one more or the strawberry? I think I like this one more, honestly. Okay. But because the taste is a little softer. So Natty has this weird obsession with matcha. Is that what matcha? That's what matcha tea. Matcha tea. I'm probably saying that in like the worst way because I because I'm saying it in like a English speaker way. Mm -hmm. The English speaker matcha. way. I mean, you are English. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, she has this weird matcha fetish. Her mom was making fun of her for making matcha tea because it takes a lot of effort to Who make doesn't? apparently. She's just like, why are you putting so much effort into it? <laughs> why are you heating up the water? Anyways, we have two different flavors of these Japanese Kit Kats. We have the Sakura Matcha, Naruto inspired. No, I'm kidding, but we have the Sakura Matchas right here. They are in a pink kind of container with like cherry blossom and stuff on it. It's pretty cool, yeah. It's cute. And then the other one here, you can read it. Try reading this one. Yuji Matcha, right there. Yuji Matcha. So, we, I, I wasn't trying to get you to yeah, read the Yeah, see, Japanese. that looks... <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was I'm like, English. is this boy trying to make me read Japanese <laughs> writing? Which one do you want to try first? The pink one or the green one? I feel like this is going to taste more like legit matcha. Okay. So I want to save that for later. Let's do this one. So the pink one first. So we're trying the Sakura Matcha one first. It's so satisfying doing that. Here, try opening the pack. Right? That is pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So here is the packaging for the Sakura Matcha. It's very pink, very, uh, very girly. And uh, here you go. Let's, uh, let's give this a, sorry. Let's give this a shot. It smells. It smells weird. It smells like matcha and strawberry, kind of. Cool. All right. Let's I think it. they mixed it with the strawberry flavor, maybe. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. That's matcha. That's pretty good. Wow. It's probably the best one so far. 
<laughs> you're like dancing. You're like, this matcha cake is so good. <laughs> Yum. I'm excited for the next one. Here's what the Uji matcha looks like. Pretty green looking. Do you have high expectations for this one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. As excited as I can be for a piece of candy. <laughs> it looks like exactly the same as the other one. Like the same kind of green. Except there's Maybe like little, little bits of darker green. That's something only a matcha expert would mm. notice. Bruh. I'm using my eye. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is closer to the. Oh, yeah, I see the microphone there. You mean? I feel like this is going to be more closer the to the microphone? It's not like I said microphone. Boop. Oh. Mmm. Mm. I, don't know, I can't do this one. Nope. <laughs> it tastes like matcha mixed with something else. Matcha mixed with like ass. So the next Kit Kat flavor we have to try is, you can read it out. Shinsu apple. This is a big boy one. They did not have smaller packets like these ones right here. They only had the big ones like this. So I'm it assuming looks... it's going to be a big, big longer rectangle. Like yeah, it looks a little small. more fancy. Let's appreciate the Japanese Kit Kat packaging it's together. Kit Kat. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So yeah, let's uh, let's destroy this packaging. Let's open this up. Oh wow, just like the oh. other one, they always give you the fun size one. Like here, take take a look at that one while I show them what it looks like. This looks like a really dope Kit Kat, to be honest with you. I'm I'm actually really genuinely excited to try this Kit Kat. Oh, that smells Ooh. like it just oh. hits you. That is really strong. It smells like applesauce. Is that alcohol? No, why? Maybe. Maybe it should say it's like alcohol percentage on here. I think it, nah. I think it smells, I don't know. I think you're crazy. No, nah, there's no alcohol in this. Oh. Legitimately looks like a regular Kit Kat. Like you would not know. I'll show it to you guys. You guys probably know what a regular Kit Kat looks like, but it looks exactly like a regular Kit Kat. So let's yeah. give this bad boy a shot. It just smells like apple. Like it just- It smells really strong. It's like really, really strong apple. Doop, 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 doop. It tasted too strong. Really? Mm. I liked it. I was fine with it. I was expecting it to be like regular Kit Kat with a hint of apple. I was fine with it. Mm. It's too bad you well, Even like now, it. I still feel like the aftertaste. You're right. Yeah. This one this one definitely has the strongest aftertaste. But we have one final Kit Kat to go. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. So this one is a celebratory Kit Kat. This is the, uh, this one got a little bit messed up in the, uh, in the luggage because I crammed it into my luggage. So here is how the side looks like with the instructions and uh, what are you doing in the back? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, here's what the, stop it. <laughs> so here's what the instructions look like. Now you said maybe you're supposed to eat it with sake. I don't know, but here's what the packaging looks like. It's pretty dope, pretty dope looking. So let's give this a bad boy a shot. It literally says Japanese sake on the very, the very top. Yeah, I so, see that. Here we go. Are you sure it's Japanese? I can't tell. <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, work those muscles, babe. Work those muscles. <laughs> Games. Oh, this oh, bicep though. Look at the bicep. Okay, soft. Soft. <laughs> Alright, so. Japanese I feel like I can sake. smell it without even opening it. Here, here. I swear to God. Oh, yeah, I smell that. I smell that. It smells good. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Final Japanese Kit Kat we're gonna try in today's video. Okay, there we go. There we go. It looks like a white chocolate one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. That genuinely smells like alcohol. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> she's 20, by the way. I know she looks really young, but she's 20 years old, so oh, she can man. drink. You're gonna have it. You're, you're gonna have some Japanese sake. It's Kit strange. Kat. It's like alcohol with something else. I'm not. Uh, maybe alcohol with Kit Kat. Bruh. Cheers. What was that? <laughs> Here comes the airplane. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the Japanese sake Kit Kat. I want to say I liked it. It was a pleasant experience. Would I try it again? No, I probably wouldn't spend money on it. Same with all these other Japanese Kit Kat flavors. I think Bruh. personally, I'm fine with the regular. I'm a little offended at that. You're a little offended. It's because you like the matcha one, but yeah. honestly, I was totally fine with just regular milk chocolate Kit Kat. Dark chocolate Kit Kat is also really good. Um, how did you feel about that Japanese sake one? I could kind of taste the alcohol. Uh... I felt pretty eh about it, honestly. And then how do you feel about all these Japanese Kit Kat flavors as a whole? It was a fun experience. <laughs> They're all pretty decent, but it's not something I would, you know, buy over the chocolate one. You know, chocolate, classic, simple. Mm -hmm. Except for the matcha one. The matcha one was, was like legit good. One? Yeah, it was, was legit. Good. Stop, stop, stop. There you guys go. That is going to wrap up part one of today's video. Now part two, I'm actually going to be uh, surprising her 
with some sneakers. So if you guys want to see that video <laughs> down below, yeah, I'm gonna I have some sneakers there for you. So Maybe. Yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up button down below and also subscribe, hit that red button down below. And if you guys want to see how my first trip to Japan went, vlogs are below and we're going back to Japan next month. So that's gonna be fun. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you, Natty, for being in this video with me. Pleasure. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, now nervous to be okay. on video again, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay, anyways. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.